Hi, my name is Chris Rogers. I'm an industrial designer and robot builder. This video shows you different types of bolts and just gives you a general overview of some of the variety that's out there, how to distinguish between them, and how you might use one or the other. Bolts come in a variety of different sizes from the very, very tiny to the very, very, very large. This shows the difference between a screw on the right and the bolt on the left. The screw usually has a point. This is a, a Phillips head wood screw. And uh, this bolt is a uh, 5 16 24 grade 8 hex head bolt. The difference is this is secured uh, with a nut and this is threaded into threads in your work. Really? Here's an example of a bolt and a nut being used to secure a couple plates together. You can see on one side it's a hex head and on the other side there's the threads and the nut securing it. These are some of the different types of bolts and the first thing you might notice is some of them are uh, have thread on only a small portion and some have thread throughout the whole length. Uh, these are called fully threaded and these are partially threaded. No way! There are lots of different styles. Uh, this is a very coarse thread and this is a very fine thread, so you need to know how to specify that. You're talking about pitch. This shows you the difference in the pitch or the threads per inch. This is a national fine, national coarse, or NC. This is a 5 16 18. This is a 5 16 24, meaning there are 24 threads per inch. Uh, here there are 18 threads per inch. So to order this bolt, I would, I would get a hex head, grade 8, 5 16 18 by 1. So, hex head, grade 8 is the coating and the hardness. Uh, 5 16 is the hole diameter, or the, the diameter of the shaft. And the 18 refers to 18 threads per inch. And the 1 refers to the 1 inch length. This is a 5 16 24 by one and a quarter. Are you kidding me? Here's an example of where to use this type of bolt. This is a half inch 20 by one inch long. And this is a grade eight. I'm using it to secure this wheel to this aluminum adapter plate. The plate is threaded. And to use it, I would simply screw this in by hand and then tighten it using a socket wrench. Get out of here. These are stove bolts and they come in a variety of different lengths and styles. This one is galvanized for corrosion prevention. This one is used to secure the toilet bowl to the floor. Seriously? They have a round head and if you notice this feature right here is a kind of a squared off section. These are often found in hinges uh, on a barn and you would fasten this through a hole and secure it with a nut from this side only. This is an application where I've used a stove bolt for security. This is a hasp on a, a shed. On the inside you can see the bolt goes all the way through and was secured with a washer and a nut. These are lag bolts and they're typically used in the construction industry to fasten together 2x4s and large timbers. This one is galvanized uh, to prevent corrosion. You might use this uh, to secure a railing to a deck. Here you can see lag bolts being used to uh, secure this 2x4 to this 4x4 on this heavy duty workbench. Uh, they're used simply by pre-drilling the hole and then uh, screwing these in with a socket set or this driver. Ooh. These are what is known as cap screws and they come in a variety of different sizes and styles. The silver ones are uh, stainless steel, and these are uh, black oxide. These are typically installed with a uh, hex drive or an Allen head wrench. And you can see each of them has their own specific size. So it's important to match the, the proper Allen head wrench with that head. Really? You'll notice there's a variety of different uh, pitches or threads per inch. Uh, this one on the left is a quarter twenty. 
which means uh, the whole diameter is a uh, quarter inch and the threads if you count one inch uh, you'll come up with a number 20 so that's a 20 thread per inch quarter 20. Wow what's great about these is um, they can be really torqued down and you can specify the amount of torque you need you'll find these in uh, machines tools and a lot of high-tech gear here's an example of where to use a cap screw uh, this is a quarter 28 cap screw and it's used to secure this gear housing to the back half of a of gear housing on a motor. Uh, they use a fine thread uh, because this has a lot of vibration. So to use it you would simply tap out the back half and then secure it using an Allen wrench like this. So these are also cap screws and the first one on the left is a 5 16 24. This is a quarter 20 and these are designated by a number uh, which is the whole size. So a 10, an 8 and a 6. This is the 10 24, an 8 32 and a 6 32. These are what is known as a 10 24 cap screw or machine screw. And again, they come in a variety of different sizes, finishes, and head shapes. You mean head shape? These silver ones are stainless. Uh, this is black oxide. This is a button head, a countersunk, or a flat head. And these are the standard cap screws. Flat head, really? The 1024 designation refers to the fact that this is a size 10 screw. And uh, the 24 is 24 threads per inch. So in order to designate the length of these two different types of 1024 cap screws, I would measure uh, from the bottom of the head on the cap screw on the right, that's uh, 3 quarter inches. And from the top of the head on the stainless steel flat head, that's a 1 inch screw. These are a quarter 20. Uh, it's a quarter inch diameter and 20 threads per inch. Some of the different styles are the button head, uh, hex head, and the cap screw, uh, these have a, a hex hole driven in with an Allen wrench. And these are typically secured with a, a socket wrench. And uh, these also have an Allen head hole. What the? These are what they call machine screws. Uh, they're stainless steel. And they come in a variety of different thread pitches and head styles. You'll notice that the color is slightly different. This is a, a zinc plating on a typical bolt and the silver is just a little bit different color. There are a couple different head sizes and shapes here. Uh, this is a pan head. Pan head? And it has a Phillips screwdriver uh, drive. And this is a flat head also with a, a Phillips head screwdriver drive. Of course bolts also come in metric sizes. Uh, this one on the left is uh, it's an M10 and if I measure this I get 10 millimeters in diameter and this is a M8 uh, these are all hex heads uh, these are all 8's, M8's, this is a M6, an M4 and an M3 uh, they're also designated by the, the pitch no way here's an example of how to join these two pieces of wood together using one of these bolts um, this is a 5 16 and so what I would do is just measure this and make sure you've got the right number. This is 0.310 and put the perfect size drill in there. This is just over 0.310. So that's a 5 16 drill. And I went ahead and marked this up and I'm ready to drill. You can see I've got that hole going all the way through and now it's just a matter of figuring out which bolt is going to work. So we can look at this one on the outside and that one's a little too short. This one is partially threaded and you can see that that wouldn't work either because the threads don't go down to the bottom of the wood. But this one looks like it should work pretty well. It's a fully threaded 5 16 and in this case I would use a couple washers a 
washers just help distribute the, the load and the pressure caused by screwing this nut on. Here's a cross section of that. I basically cut the wood in half so you can see the hole and the bolt going through the center of that. Thanks for watching and check out all my other videos and leave some comments. Good comments. What he said. <laughs>